that wasn't a selfie. Excuse me, I just want to set the record straight on that. Before you do, can I just say something? Fran Drescher is defending herself amid backlash over a recent selfie with Kim Kardashian after the reality star praised the actress on Instagram, captioning a photo, my fashion icon, always on my mood board. I seriously love this woman, the oh-so-gorgeous Fran Drescher. During the July 13th press conference in which Fran, president of SAG-AFTRA, announced plans for the union to strike, a reporter asked the nanny star to comment on traveling to Italy last weekend for a Dolce & Gabbana event amid negotiations with the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers, a move some have criticized. Enter Duncan Crabtree Ireland, National Executive Director, Chief Negotiator for SAG-AFTRA. It is outrageous that they would do that. You know what Fran was doing was Fran was working, which is what our members do. And for these employers to cynically try to turn our members against Fran because she's doing a job that she was under contract to do, while by the way, she was zooming into our negotiations after work hours, working 18 hours or more a day. It is outrageous, it is wrong, it's despicable, and they should be ashamed of it. Fran then further explained the situation herself. I'm a brand ambassador for a fashion company, and so is Kim. I had only met Kim seconds before that publicity picture was taken. It had nothing to do with being at a party or having fun. It was absolute work. I was in hair and makeup three hours a day, walking in heels on cobblestones, doing things like that, which is work, not fun. I'm sure Kim would have rather have been at her home in Malibu with her children too, but we work. That's what we do. Next, Fran noted that she continued to work on negotiations even while traveling. At 10.30 at night, I would leave the event, I would go to my hotel room, and I'd call into the Zoom. And when I couldn't get through to them because I was on a plane, I was texting with them constantly throughout the plane ride. I worked around the clock in three different time zones because my parents live in Florida, though I keep asking them to move here. (laughs) And I manage their well-being as well. So, you know, I think that all of the people standing behind me stand behind me. Earlier in the press conference, Fran announced plans for the union to strike for the first time since 1980 after SAG-AFTRA voted unanimously. In response to the news, AMPTP issued a statement reading, a strike is certainly not the outcome we hoped for as studios cannot operate without the performers that bring our TV shows and films to life. The union has regrettably chosen a path that will lead to financial hardship for countless thousands of people who depend on the industry. SAG-AFTRA officially goes on strike at midnight on July 14th. 